seriously, how do I get work? And we talked about it, we answered it, but one of the things we couldn't we couldn't fully answer it without seeing what her work looked like because that is like that's a huge factor in whether you could do everything right and not get work because maybe your artwork doesn't doesn't match the kind of work you're trying to get, right? And I, and I don't I don't say that like you have to be a great artist to get work because there are artists who have very rudimental rudimentary skill but they've leaned in hard on not being able to draw well. Um, like I think about Mr. Doodle. Do you guys know Mr. Doodle? I don't yeah. know if you've seen his, he's got like two or 3 million followers on Instagram. We don't have and little we, kids at home. I, I, that, I it, you don't have to have little kids to be into Mr. Doodle. Oh. He's, he makes <laughs> art for the masses, not for kindergartners. I don't have okay. I don't have little kids either. My, all my kids are in the double digit age age range now. You sound defensive. I am. Oh I am not a don't get kids. so triggered, bro. Don't get so triggered. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the little kid thing is such a slog, and it, and we're over with it. It's so, yeah. so nice. It really Anyways. is. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Doodle, look him up. What the guy does is he has like one style. He uses these thick markers that are like an inch wide, two inches wide. And he draws the most simplest iconic things like stars and squares and triangles. And then he'll make faces out of them. And he'll do an entire like 50 foot wall covered in these doodles. And it's, and it actually, each individual doodle isn't great. You know, isn't like an amazing piece of artwork, but the 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 effect of it being plastered everywhere is art, right? It is something magnificent. And so, what I'm I'm what I'm saying there is, if you you have to play to your strengths and lean into what you can do in order to get work as an artist, and maybe that means you have to really be rock solid in figure drawing in light and shadow and all these fundamentals because you want to get a job doing book illustration, book covers. But if, if you sort of want to, you know, maybe do a web comic where the drawings just need to look funny, but they don't need to, you know, you don't have to be able to draw likenesses very well or do light and shadow, then maybe that's what you lean into. All of that is groundwork for, um, for what I guess our advice, our follow up advice to Beverly Hill, he, Beverly here. Yeah. So, so if I'm a art director um, or an editor, I I have to see and have confidence that you're going to be able to um, illustrate my project, which is almost. I mean, you you talked about getting work in a lot of different areas. You're you're really better off focusing on one or two markets and really strategizing your portfolio for those. And so, you know, I'm looking on Instagram and it, it's all over the place between, um, fan art and, um, and, and like Lee said, you know, some character designs, and then there are some illustrations lower, but they, they're, they're not really telling, they're not telling stories that I would imagine being in, um, in children's books that, you know, I'm, I'm not seeing, things that remind me of illustration work. One of the things that, that I would say you need to do is give yourself assignments that look like they were done for something so that when someone sees them, they're like, oh, that's an interesting story going on in that thing. What was it for? Whereas these mm -hmm. don't make me think that. A lot of them are greeting card type illustrations. Greeting card market is really tough because everybody wants to make decorative pieces and there's really low bar for entry on telling non-narrative uh i mean making non-narrative art it's it's just so i hate to say the word easy but it but a greeting card can use any kind of an image i mean they can they greeting card companies can get images from people that have they, that, that have already been done they don't need to commission them you know they they can look on instagram and say hey can i use your your piece of art for a greeting card. So it would not be something that I would advertise for. Do you guys disagree with that? No, no. I, don't, I don't disagree. Okay. I'm looking at it and 
what I'm seeing, what she really has dialed in is all the surface stuff, all the facade that goes over the top of, you know, the real fundamentals, which she she doesn't have. So it's like she knows how to use the right textures. She knows how to do the right Photoshop filters. She, I mean, colors, the color choices aren't bad. Um, the line work, you know, coloring the line work and, and all of these like things that you... But maybe I would do, or these other illustrators would do, the last 10% to really make their thing like glow and, and sing, she knows how to do. Mm -hmm. But what she's missing is the 90% of the life drawing. Like I'm looking at this and I just don't see an understanding of like structure, like how to turn a head at a third, you know, at a three-fourths angle or to arch a head up, you know, understanding like how a hand attaches to an arm, attaches to an elbow, attaches to a shoulder, like just basic understanding of, of life drawing would go so far with these drawings. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I just see, I see like, I see these things that if she just had a better understanding of, you know, where a character sits in three dimensional space compared to other things and where mm -hmm. body parts exist in three dimensional space compared to other body parts, it would, it would, I think it would take it to the next, take her right up to that, that six, seven, eight level mm -hmm. where she needs to be. 